Hello everyone and welcome, this is Alex, the architect for Backfrap and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create and import into Backfrap the certificate from Apple so you can send certificate based push notifications. So first thing you have to do is go into your uh, Apple developer account in developer.apple.com and here you have certificates, IDs and profiles, so you click that. Here you have certificates, uh, you have to click that if it's not uh, already in that screen. Click this plus button here, scroll down, and here you have two kinds of uh, certificates that you can uh, issue at this time. First one is push notifications for sandbox, this is for development apps. And the other one is the push notification service for sandbox and production. This allows you to send production uh, apps push notifications. So I'm going to emit this one here. Let's go up, click continue. It was for the app ID that you're going to use. This is the uh, bundle ID for your app. So there you go, this is the one I'm going to use. Click continue and then it will ask you for a uh, certificate uh, request. You will get one by going to uh, your keychain access. This is an application that uh, is already installed on every Mac. So you go to keychain access, certificate assistance and request a certificate from a certificate authority. Uh, here you check save to disk. And you can put your email address here. Click continue. It will ask where you want to save this uh, uh, file. So I'm going to save it on my desktop. There you go, show in Finder. And this is the file. And from here, I'm going to choose file into my desktop, here is my request file, open it, continue, and now I can download my certificate. If you notice, this downloaded a APS.CER -E -E file. Uh, we have to import this uh, into our machine before proceeding. So I'm going to click this it imported inside my uh, my computer. Now I can click both files, the uh, certificate and the key, right click it and export two items. I'll have to check the file format. It should be personal information ex exchange P12 and give it a good name. So I'm going to here push notification certificate it's going to save my desktop so save it asked me for a password I'll leave this blank and then the password for my computer so it can write this certificate in, into my machine Oops. now if I go to my back for app account, here on certificates I can click new. It was asking for a P12 file. So here in my desktop I have my push notification certificate P12 file. Open it. It was for the device type there I'm sending pushes to, so iOS in this case. I'll have to check if this is a production app or not. In this case it is. So I'm going to save it. It will quickly reload and here is my certificate file. You have here the expiration date for that certificate uh, and before this expiration date uh, happens, I'll have to reissue and re-import new certificates in order to my uh, push notification keep working. So this is how you import a certificate from Apple into back for app in order to send certificate based push notifications. Uh, hope you liked this video and see you soon. Bye-bye.